Hi guys, in this video I'll be taking you through Postman. Postman is a tool that helps you build and test your APIs very easily. Uh, it does exactly what it says it does. It simplifies each step of building an API and streamlined collaboration so you can create APIs better and faster. Uh, you can go ahead and go to postman.com and download the latest version of the tool. Once you've downloaded the tool, uh, you'll be asked to log in. Once you log in, you'll see something like this. Uh, I'll take you first through the settings section. So on the right, top right, you can click on settings and you'll have a lot of options that, that you can toggle on and off. Uh, these are options like always open requests in a new tab or always ask when closing unsafe tabs. Uh, depending on taste, you can simply uh, you know, play around with these settings. You can also change the font if you wanted to. Uh, then you can also select your theme. I've selected the dark theme here. Uh, you can also check which version of Postman you're on. You can also update it if you wanted to. One other important thing is the shortcuts. You can simply remember these shortcuts if you want to. Okay, the other thing to note here is uh, this tab from where you can sign out and you can also add a new account if you want. Uh, you can have multiple accounts going on here or you can simply keep switching between your accounts. Once you upgrade, you can also start collaborating with your teams. Uh, I have not tried this option yet because right now how we collaborate is we simply export the collection of Postman and uh, send it across to the other developer and then he can simply import it and start using it. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and, and but I've not tried it if, but you can go ahead and upgrade and try um, you know collaborating with your team from here uh, the most important thing um, uh, in, in postman is this part where you can toggle between get post put patch delete APIs right the requests and on the left you can see something called as the new button you can create a new request collection or an environment uh, in each collection there can be multiple folders with multiple requests so let me show you how to create a new collection. You can click on new collection, create uh, rough, let's call it rough. Okay. Inside the collection, I can create a new folder called rough again. And similarly, I can, as you can see the rough folder inside the rough collection, I can create multiple such folders and multiple such requests, uh, multiple requests inside each folder. And uh, I've already made it uh, right now in this example, as you can see, there are multiple folders, users, clients, all these folders. And there are multiple requests in each folder in the collection called Throttle. Uh, so let me take you over a, uh, over an API endpoint called Login. So here you can see that I've written URL slash public slash login. In many other videos, uh, you would see something like localhost and, and, and the port right here. You'll see the port here uh, and then the API route. But uh, uh, the reason I've kept it like this is because uh, since there, there are many developers uh, you know that are collaborating on this project so each everybody has uh, their own preference of port that they're going to be exposing to this particular application so you can just keep URL here and you can pass an environment variable into this URL you can go here and create your own your uh, environment variable you know it's very easy and you can simply edit them as well so as you can see I have uh, the URL in my case means localhost 9010 so even if I write 9010 localhost 9010 here it will be the same thing Right. So, but this is a more modular approach. And uh, the three things that are important here are params, headers, and body. In the params, you pass uh, everything after the question mark. So, like, let's say if I add a question mark here, you can see so it starts adding something. I, I can I can say uh, something like username here. Then I can add the value for that key, like Akhil, and I can add another password, and I can add another value X Y Z. Okay, and then I can, uh, if I wanted to, I can toggle, uh, you know, I can switch them on and off. As you can see, it starts appending it here. In our case, we don't require it. In the headers, you, you can pass your authorization token or in our case, in this API's case, I have passed the workspace ID since this is a multi-tenant SaaS application, so you'll need a workspace ID. And uh, in the body, uh, you can, if it's a post request, you can pass, for example, in this case, I've passed the email and password in a raw JSON format. You can switch the format from here. Okay, so this was one API. Now let me show you another API, a GET API. So see, this is a GET API. As, as I had mentioned, you can switch between the requests here. And in this case, in the params, I have passed three things, page number, page size, and sort by, and everything gets appended here. In the headers, I have passed uh, the authorization token as well, along with the workspace ID. Uh, now, here's uh, I wanted to talk about something here. Let's say uh, in this case, for example, we have 259 requests, right? So if, if I export this collection and send it to another developer, 
he will have to go on and configure his header his authorization token for every single of these requests and that will be a very very uh, inefficient approach uh, so uh, the, the solution for this is something called as presets so you go into the headers you go to you go into presets and you can uh, create your own presets so for example i've created this preset called auth new it ha already has my workspace id and authorization and uh, and let's say if my header doesn't exist here i can i can create a new preset and i can start typing it it will start showing my header preset auth new and as soon as it, i don't know why it's not working auth new and as soon as i click on auth new it'll it'll show my uh, header preset here right so uh, just a quick review uh, headers body and params these are really important uh, this toggle between the requests is highly important the settings right and um, your local variable is important ability to create presets that's something you need to check uh, ability to create collections and requests and folders that's a little important and you can also import your uh, json uh, collection here uh, in the beginning of the video I had mentioned that you can simply export your collection and send it to another developer and once the developer gets that JSON through email or flock or slack he can simply just drag and drop it here or upload or, or uh, you know select the file from here and he'll be able to uh, very easily import all of these requests and he doesn't have to create all of these requests then again on his own laptop so this is a very highly effective tool and i'll be covering some advanced tutorials also of this uh, of this tool because this has uh, many many options but in this video i hope you've got an idea on how to start using postman very quickly and this has covered basically all of the basics thanks a lot for watching thank you